Hi all folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com. So I've got the review of the Viper ROM. Um, let me show you the startup animation. It looks pretty cool. This is what it looks like. Um, I really like it. And then it will boot up very soon. And that's the boot up screen. Um, and it booted up. This ROM is comes with a Go launcher, which um, has this. And also, what I really like about it, it is um, it comes with this power widget. Well, it's off the Go Go launcher, um, so it'll come with if you have a Go launcher there. Uh, it comes with that. It also comes with a Lost Kernel, uh, which is great. Um, but it looks like I've lost. Hold on, I've lost my widget locker. And probably the coolest part about the um, the Viper ROM, you, so you can get a terminal emulator, and there's this thing called uh, OC Daemon, uh, which allows you to run. It's like a app, like a set CPU, but it uses like almost no memory and runs in the background. Um, so don't use set CPU and turn turn off set on boot. Um, go into your terminal, and you can type. Uh, let me zoom in here real quick. Type SU and uh, VC. SU, enter, allow, and um, VC. And this will enter you into uh, the VC OC daemon settings. Uh, basically, what you can do is adjust the uh, voltages, or not voltages, the CPU frequency. Um, so let's do it. So hit one to adjust and enter. And it says uh, set min awake frequency. Um, that's the minimum um, when it's awake, the phone is awake. I'm not gonna touch that. I'm gonna just touch the max real quick. And uh, max I want uh, 1.6 gigahertz. So it's one six and four more zeros. One, two, three, four, all right. And that will set it to 1.6 gigahertz max um, gigahertz, and also you can do the performance toggle for testing, um, and also you can set the minimum sleep frequency and the maximum sleep frequency. Um, I recommend uh, probably, let me see, like around 200 megahertz for min and max. You might want to do around 500 megahertz for sleep frequency. And that will um, basically set your, well, let's go see what the settings are. Um, it is set at, so we'll just set that at 200, uh, 200 megahertz. All right. And let me set the maximum sleep frequency for that. Uh, let's say 500,000, which is 500 megahertz. All right. And you can start Virtuous OC. You'll have to start it so it's working. And then I'm gonna use the performance toggle to do the uh, quadrant test real quick. So it says performance governor set. And let's go do some testings real quick on quadrant and see what kind of numbers we get. Um, so I'm bring up quadrant. Doo -doo -doo. So this is the newest ROM on the block, um, and I've used uh, Viper ROM on my HTC Evo 3D, and I have to tell you, it is a very good uh, ROM. Oh, you know what? My phone's, it can't run at 1.6 gigahertz. That's why it's rebooting. So I'll be back. I'm going to go into uh, the, the script again and set it to actually 1.5 gigahertz so I can do some testing. Dang, there was an earthquake just now. <laughs> Um, let me go open up, I, I better go catch, uh, check the gas line real quick. Uh, we had a 4.0 magnitude earlier, and then that one felt like another, maybe 3.8, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so I'm going to go back into, uh, the OC Daemon, SU, and VC, and I'm going to adjust the OC Daemon settings. Um, set max awake frequency to, 
and it looks like um, it actually it can't do. Uh, there's no step settings for 1.5, so I'm just gonna set it to 1.4 gigahertz. 1.40 and four more zeros. One, two, three, four. Enter, and I think it's starting already. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the performance toggle. And uh, all right, let's go run quadrant test. So since I can't overclock to 1.506 uh, or 1.503, I'm not gonna get as high scores as on other ROMs. But then you know it's not all about the you know quadrant scores. It's all about also about you know daily usage and you know it's sometimes that's not everything. So, but it, it's a really good ROM. I've run a uh, Viper ROM on my Evo 3D before, and it's a very good ROM. Um, the developer he has always been you know making good ROMs, so you can count on it, and he supports his ROM. So definitely can't go wrong with this ROM. I'll put it sideways so you can see everything. A little bit better. So let's see what we get. So 3679, that's on my first run. So I'm assuming you can get over 4000 uh, with a bunch of runs. Anyway, that was the review of the Viper ROM. Uh, as you can see, it comes with a different launcher. Um, oh, I forgot to point out the coolest part, right? I'll show you this. I'm not sure if this is from the launcher, but you can do this, hold it, and then you can actually get rid of these apps if you want to, straight from the uh, the menus, which is kind of cool, from the apps. Oh, you can add a new folder. Huh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Let's add a new folder. Um, let's just name it folder for making it. So, ooh, we can have folders. This is awesome. I'm not sure uh, if that's from the Go launcher or from just um, the ROM itself, but that's really cool. Uh, anyway, check it out. As you can see, there's a bunch of cool stuff you can play with. Um, check out the the OC Damon. You can probably play with it. And let me know how the battery life is. And I might I'll stick with this ROM so I can report back. Um, and uh, I, I really like this feature. I can just erase all the you know apps. Anyway, cool ROM. Thanks, y'all. Subscribe.